Thank you very much, Andreas. We've seen the technical part of our sketchometry project, how we implement new gestures, the new user interface and the translating process. But we have a second part of the sketchometry project. These are concepts how to use the software at school. And I want to present one sub project. Uh, we call it the teaching modules of sketchometry. And we de develop these teaching modules for teachers who want to use sketchometry in their traditional, mostly analog uh, lessons to use digital tools like sketchometry in a useful and uh, yes, for the students, interesting and a sustainable way. And the structure of these teaching modules, you can see in this list, each teaching module has five parts. The first parts are information for the teacher. Then the core is a student worksheet. We have a result sheet, exercises, and an additional video for the students. And now I want to present these five parts in detail. Let's start with the information for the teachers. As I said, we want teachers to enrich their traditional way of teaching with sketchometry as a digital tool. And therefore, we give them information how to use such a teaching module. In this case, you see uh, the teaching module explore the midpoint quadrilateral of a kite. And therefore, at first, we have prerequisites and objectives for the student's worksheet. This means uh, we have explanations uh, how to use this worksheets and what's important for the students to know so that the, uh, the teacher can prepare the use of such a worksheet. And we have a second part. And here we show sketchometry instructions. This means also for teachers who aren't familiar with sketchometry, they get an explanation that here in this case, we only need three gestures. So you don't have to know everything about sketchometry. It's only a, a small part. And beside the, uh, the gestures, you need the measuring tool. And when you know these parts, you can use it at school. That's also interesting for the teachers because they have to explain only these four parts to the students. And it is not necessary to have a complete introduction into uh, sketchometry, which lasts too long for most lessons. So uh, this is the explanation of the sketchometry gestures. And then we have further explanations and tasks for, uh, for example, for gifted students and some or some interesting hints for the teachers as well in this information part of a teaching module. The second part is the students worksheets. We, uh, we've chosen here a traditional way because stu students often work with worksheets. This is a PDF worksheet. It can be printed. It can be used electronically on tablets. And this worksheet is separated in two parts. The first part is a construction part. Here, the students should create the kite in this example. Uh, first, they construct the kite using the uh, reflection uh, gesture. Then they have to, uh, in this kite, they have to construct the four midpoints. And at the end, the quadrilateral of these midpoints. We don't have prepared constructions for them. That's very important. They have to construct their 
uh, illustration and afterwards in the second part of the student's worksheet they will explore this construction. So they are familiar with this uh, construction and this is the part of the inquiry-based learning approach. In this case, uh, they should uh, drag the vertices of the kite and also observe the midpoint quadrilateral. They have to describe the shapes. Of course, in this uh, illustration, in this picture, it seems to be a rectangle. And that's important. It seems to be a rectangle. Uh, this is only an observation. Uh, the next step is to write down this conjecture in the studies journal or on an, uh, in a, a textbook or a text sheet, worksheet, and then they should try to give a proof. So uh, they first constructed this kite, then they experiment with this kite. And uh, the idea is they should write down their observations and then they should give a proof. So they go deeply into this topic, the quadrilateral of a kite. To help students uh, to write do down their conjectures, we have a third part of such a teaching module, and this is a result sheet. Here we have a predefined structure uh, to make it more easy for the students to uh, fix their results, to document their results and their experimentation assignments. And uh, we have also the possibility for them to take notes uh, and to write down, uh, for example, which sketches they have used and how they did their uh, exploration here in this case. And this result worksheet can be accompanied by an exercise sheet where we have additional tasks to deepen the topic uh, for the student worksheets or further hints and additional uh, suggestions and uh, additional th uh, thematic suggestions so that you can integrate these teaching modules in the curricula. And the last part of our teaching modules is a video related to the student's worksheet. Uh, this is, for example, for uh, those students who have problems to do the constructions by themselves or it's ideal for students who can't attend a lesson, then they can uh, go to the video and uh, get the content at home, for example. Uh, and though this video is additional content to deepen uh, the topic, in this case, the quadrilateral of a kite. We have several of these worksheets, mainly in German. I will show you the German examples for these teaching modules. We call them Unterrichtsbausteine. And, uh, and with the new sketchometry version, we will translate these teaching modules also in English. So we'll, you will find this concept as well on the English and the German website. So these are the two parts of our sketchometry project. On the one side, the technical development, new features and new functions for sketchometry. And on the second part, the didactical concept uh, so that you can use sketchometry for inquiry-based learning at school and the students, uh, they can deepen their knowledge in geometry and calculus with our sketchometry app.